Hi everybody, it's Webflow Joe with an effin' sweet Webflow hack. In this hack, we learn how to prevent certain email domains from submitting on your form. What we're going to do is create a list of email addresses that we don't want to be able to submit our form. And if someone tries to submit the form with that email address, we don't let them submit. We've had a lot of clients ask us to remove emails like Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail, and even remove competitor emails when offering gated content. So we're going to prevent these types of people from submitting our web form. Let's see how it works. We're in the live example and we're going to submit this form with an email that is part of our rejected email address list. Gmail.com is part of our rejected email address list. We don't want anyone from gmail.com to submit on our form. We're just looking for business email submissions. So if I go and type in my name here and I do joe at gmail.com and I go and submit this, it's not going to submit the form. I'm gonna go ahead and submit. Please enter a business email. We don't want gmail.com users. So I'm gonna go in and type in my non-Gmail email. And when I go and submit this, it's going to submit the form, no problem. We're in Designer and we have a native Webflow form on the page. This is right from the Assets panel. We don't need anything special applied to this form. No class, no ID, no settings. We need two important classes applied to the email field and the submit button. So here on the email field, we have our add-on class hack18 email. And here in the submit button, we have our class hack button. And with these two classes, we can manipulate this form in JavaScript. Let's break down this code line by line. Before the closing body tag, we're going to insert our script. When the DOM is ready, we are going to make an array of our invalid domains. An array is essentially a list. So we're going to list out all the domain names we don't want to be able to submit our form. So check it out. We have our gmail.com, Yahoo, Hotmail, all the basic non-business emails that we may not want as part of a form submission. And then we've had clients ask to remove competitors because they are showing some type of gated content. So we're also going to remove our competitor emails. Great, and now we have all the invalid domains and we're ready to jump into the form submission. First, we're going to get the submit button. We're gonna create this variable, submit btn, and that's going to be our hack button. It's the class that we put on the form submission button. And on the click of that submit button, here we're grabbing our submit btn, and on click, we're going to run all of this code. Great. First, we're going to get the email field. This is the hack18 email that we applied to the email input. And we're gonna store that as email. Then we're going to store a very important part of this called domain part. And what domain part is going to be is the email field and the value of the email field we're going to split the value after the at symbol. So if I'm typing something like joe at finsuite.com, what this is doing is looking for this and it's going to take all of this. So in that value entry, this variable would be finsuite.com. Great. And now we're going to run an if statement to see if that value, if this is part of our invalid domain list. Cool. So the if statement says, if the invalid domains, there is something, there is a 
domain part of the invalid domains, if we find that finsuite.com inside the invalid domains, we are going to not submit the form. So if we find that the user entry is part of the invalid domain list, we're going to run this code. And what the code's gonna do is clear the email field. It's gonna get the email field, change the value to nothing. And then we are going to put a placeholder text inside the email field to tell the user, hey, please enter a business email. So we're grabbing that email field, we're giving it a data attribute, and it's the placeholder attribute of please enter business email. And then the core most important part of this if statement is return false. And that means don't submit the form. Now, let's say this is a normal email and it is not part of our invalid domain list. So if this is not true, we're going to go to the it else statement. So if it is at webflow.com, that's not part of our invalid list. And then we're going to skip all of this code, jump down to the else statement and return true. And that means go ahead and submit the form. And that is how all of this works. We are creating a list we are running a function on the click of the submit and then we're deciding if we want to submit the form or not submit the form. Thank you so much for checking out this hack. Please clone the project. We have the entire hacks project available for clone. Start learning how these hacks work and use them on your live site. We're always releasing new hacks. So if you want to be updated, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want a super simple plain text email when we release a new hack, sign up at finsuite.com slash hacks dash updates. If you want to request a hack, we'll check it out and see if it's possible in Webflow. Go to finsuite.com slash hacks dash request. That's effing sweet.